Okay, if you clicked on this video from the OpenStax textbook, uh, hopefully you tried this problem first. I picked an easy one for you. The tricky part is converting some velocity. So this question aligns with chapter seven, number nine. For this problem, we had to compare the kinetic energy of two things. One was an 80 kilogram astronaut, and the other one was a 20,000 kilogram truck. Well, at first glance, it would seem like the truck would certainly have a whole lot more kinetic energy, but we'll find otherwise. Um, they told us the velocity of the astronaut in orbit was 27,500 kilometers per hour, and the velocity of the truck was 110 kilometers per hour. So the first thing I set up here for you before we start calculating the kinetic energy is I'm always in the habit of putting everything in meters per second. Now we don't necessarily have to for this problem. We could just take one half mv squared and compare the two, but I don't know what the units would be. We'd have like kilogram kilometers squared over hours squared. I have no idea what that is. So in order to get this into joules and use it in other places, then we'd have to put everything in meters per second. All right, so here's what I did. I took the first velocity of the astronaut and I said, well, that's in kilometers per hour. And I need kilometers to go away, so I put kilometers on the bottom. And one kilometer is 1,000 meters. Now I need hours to go away and I want to get an answer in meters per second. So I put seconds on the bottom, I put hours on top. Did the math for you, and that turns out to be 7,639 meters per second. Now, we would do the exact same thing for the velocity of the truck. It started out with 110 instead of 27,500. And the velocity of the truck in meters per second is 30.5. Now that we've done that, we can actually do this problem and compare the kinetic energies of them. So, our formula for kinetic energy, 1 half mv squared. So I took 1 half times the mass of the astronaut, times the velocity of the astronaut, and only square the velocity. Don't square everything, just square the velocity. And I plugged that in. I took the kinetic energy of the truck. I took 1 half times the mass of the truck, times the velocity of the truck squared. And it turns out that the astronaut has a kinetic energy of about 2.3 times 10 to the 9th joules. 10 to the 9th is a billion. And the kinetic energy of the truck is about 9.3 times 10 to the sixth joules, which is in the range of millions. So the kinetic energy of the astronaut is several hundred times larger than that of the truck. All right, that's how you do chapter seven, number nine. I'll see you in the next video.